Hello everyone, welcome back to Twitch Dates Pokemon, where we last left off. Burrito found out that he's a real speed machine rolling around at the speed of sound, gotta go fast. And Abby stayed up way too late and looks tired as balls. Anyway, we are in Miss Whitney's class, so let's get back to it. I appreciate your willingness to lend me a hand. Burrito, do you have any clue why Abby looks like a zombie? It usually happens when she has to finish last minute projects, but it's only the first week of the semester. She said something about staying up all night and getting something ready for this weekend. She was yawning too much to tell me exactly what, though. Hmm, Abby's never been a morning person, so I'm surprised she showed up to class if she was this tired. Wait! She said something this weekend? It's happening! What is it? We're all going to... Hold up. Ab probably wants to tell the news herself. Just look at the effort she's made to come here early. If you're right. Sorry, Burrito. I guess I can't spoil that one for you. It's a shame Abby's not awake enough to tell you herself right now, but I'm sure you'll hear it by the end of the day. Just relax and look forward to the weekend. I didn't think you would get so excited over weekend plans. You both seem like you enjoy being in school. We do, but it's important to have fun sometimes. A sound soul dwells in a sound mind with a sound body, you know. Hmm, I guess that makes sense. It's not good to just focus on academics and ignore social aspects of school life. Of course, some moms do the complete opposite. Huh? How did I fall on the floor? Looks like Abby just sleepwalked into a desk. I better go help her pick up those textbooks. Have you guys seen Abby this morning? I think she forgot to take her awakening medicine. Just like every other morning, I suppose. <laughs> Apparently she pulled an all-nighter. Huh, probably reading all the uh, all of A in Streamland. I've done that myself. The plot twist in the latest issue is especially riveting. A in Streamland? It's a classic burrito. A classic. One of the best comic books around. Oh, I see. I don't think I'm familiar with it. Don't worry, Burrito, it's not that famous. Besides, I don't think Abby reads comic books. Perhaps, but I think she'd prefer them over regular books, and A in Streamland is a great female protagonist. You know, I think I'll introduce the series to her later, when she's awake, of course. Well, he's probably right about Abby preferring comic books. I can't see her pulling out real novels like the Great Gasly. <laughs> oh, that's great. <laughs> Alright class, now that we've finally gotten the textbook passed out, it's time to get started. Let's all turn to page 42, and I hope you'll all recognize this type chart. It describes how each type of mod is related to others. Oh, I remember learning about this when I was younger. It was always fun to learn about the different relationships. Although most young mods only care about how strong their type was. Today we're going to start getting into more depth about, mo about mod types and how they function. Everyone may have a different type, but knowing others' strength is important and will help you deal with your weaknesses as well. First, we'll discuss flying, which can have a major advantage. The ability to fly anywhere you desire is certainly one of the most useful types around. Unfortunately, I can't speak about flying from experience. But I know some of you students can help me out here. Let's see, Katie, will you go first? Sure, Miss Whitney. Great, now can you give us a quick description of your flying abilities? Well, I can fly faster than the speed of sound, although I don't usually bother to do that unless I'm late for something. My wings are pretty powerful, although if they're small for my body size, they can get the job done. And you haven't always had the ability to fly, correct? Tell, was like, uh, tell us what it was like to adjust. Yes, I wasn't really able to fly until, like, I mean, until I became a Dragonair. I was looking forward to it, though. The dream of flying kept me working hard to evolve. At first, I wasn't quite sure how to go about it, but then it seemed like my body knew exactly what to do. And before I knew it, I was in the air. Now that I'm a Dragonite with a lot more practice, I've gotten pretty good at flying. What a great story. Thanks for sharing, Katie. Now, let's have someone else. Um, Brian? Okay, I'll go. Thanks. Let's get started with an overview of her flying abilities. I was always able to fly, but my abilities were pretty limited when I was young. Now I have longer wings, which help me fly at Mach. <laughs> help me fly at Mach 2 speed. It actually comes in handy sometimes. 
Yes, that's a classic example of one's ability scaling with evolutions. Not that evolving is everything, mind you. Now, as you evolved, was it easy to adapt to flying in your new body? It took a little practice at first, but I got the hang of it before long. Thanks for your great responses, Brian. Man, I wish I could fly. It's cooler than any of my types. Hey, don't underestimate the power of poison. Moving on, shall we talk about Mons who have wings but aren't flying types? Me, for instance. I was born... Ahem! <coughs> uh, maybe later. Now, let's move on to the different forms of flight. And that's about all the time we have for today. I hope you all enjoy your lunch. I'm not doing good at doing like a matronly type voice, which is why I'm trying to go for it for her. I'm finally out of here. Time to catch up on sleep. Wow, that was kind of interesting. I actually learned a few things today. And Miss Whitney's right. I will enjoy my lunch. Burritos, here I come! Hmm, lots of places to sit today. Abba and Ark are sitting together along with Air. I didn't know Air hang out, hung out with them. Oh! Oh! Oh, okay. I remember him now. Gator, Snake, and Fawns are crowding around the table over there. ATV's talking to Katie about something. Oh, and there's Mary. Almost couldn't see her. I could always sit alone for today. Hmm, which seat should I take? Ooh, Katie, Katie, Katie! I want to sit next to Katie. Where to sit? Where to sit? Katie doesn't look so good. Maybe I should see what's up. Well, if there's time to be a fluffy sunray, it's now. Hey, I'm Kate. Oh, thank Arceus. Burrito, sit down. I can't deal with this alone anymore. Uh, what's the issue? It's like this every day, Burrito. I can't stand it anymore. It's always 18 this or this. <coughs> <coughs> Poor imitation, my dearest Katie. You really have to learn to enunciate each part correctly or you'll never get it right. But they do say imitation is the serious, uh, sincerest form of flattery, so I guess I'll take your butchery as a compliment. Ah, uh, please, I have better things to do than try to imitate you, ATV! Such as reading the latest issue of A in Streamland, perhaps? Ugh, you know I don't like that stuff! Really? Oh, but I think you'd love the part in the latest issue, and- Ah, no spoilers! Make up your mind, Katie. Alright, alright. What? It's not an issue to me, but there's a lot of moms in the school who read that series. I wouldn't like it if I overheard someone talking about something I haven't read yet, would you? Oh, for a while there I thought... Thought what? Nothing. Nothing. I should make a mental note not to cause an outrage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I, I just get uncontrollably giggly whenever they start mentioning, like, actual Pokemon moves. It, it amuses me to no end, and I don't know why. But you know, though, this A in Streamland actually sounds pretty interesting from what I've heard of it. Really? I mean, if you really want to get into it, ATV is the guy to go to. He has a full collection of first edition comics, and nobody at the school is more of an expert on the series than that geek. <laughs> Quite an understatement, don't you think? I guess I can't deny that, given what I've heard of him. There were some moms at my school like him, but I don't think I've never met anyone on his level. Get on my level. And pretty smart, too. How do you keep it all together? I appreciate the compliment, but it's honestly not... Oh, I almost forgot that I was going to get something from the cafeteria! I'm starving, but I'm not sure where to get. Anyone have a suggestion? Oh, you want to try some of my mom's salsa? It probably won't keep if I don't eat it all now, and there's lo- Oh, dude, warn her, warn her that it's hot! Um, I think I'll pass. I heard what that stuff did to Brian and Laser. I don't want to eat- I don't want my skin to match my ribbons, and I never really wanted to breathe fire. Eh, don't dragons normally do that anyway? I- I don't know, dude. Do Dragonites have any fire attacks? I'm, I'm gonna have to look that up later, because I don't, I don't remember. I honestly, I honestly don't know. Alright, suit yourself. Maybe I can get the leftovers of someone else on my way out. Thanks for understanding, Mario. I'm not exactly confident that I can eat that. Anyway, I think I'll just look for something to eat myself. I'll be right back. 
I'll get some grub too. In a minute. You don't have to come. I'll just grab you something. Uh, but how do I know it won't be tainted by the presence of a certain of certain food particles that will cause me bodily harm unless I inspect it myself? Huh? <sighs> He's allergic to nuts. Oh, that's too bad. But if he ever wants to try my mom's salsa, it should be safe. I know there aren't any nuts. Thanks, Burrito. You can't take any chances. Although, if you let me take a sample, I can confirm whether it contains any deadly nut particles. Deadly nut particles? I think he sure likes to com use complicated phrases. But if he means you might enjoy my salsa. Alright, I'll pour some in this cup for you. This is it. Now my plans are set for the evening. I <laughs> like ATV. I think he and I would probably be pretty good friends. Anyway, ATV, you really don't have to come. You know I wouldn't give you anything with nuts. Well, you haven't done it so far. Mm, Alright, let's see how you do it. Okay, I'll be right back. I really did bring a lot of salsa for lunch today. Are you sure you don't need more ATV for your testing? No, you gave me a sufficient amount. Hmm, maybe I'll ask if anyone else wants. Haha, -ha, I smell a scoop. A scoop? Is the salsa that smelly? You can have it if you want, I guess. Yes, I can see it now. New student does finish lunch. Is this how Burrito says it stays so thin and pretty? Tell me, Burrito, what do you say to these accusations? Accusations? Oh yes, the story is just what I need. Out of context exploitation is always a big hit. God damn it, Digra. He's just ignoring me, isn't he? Hey, um... Listen, Burrito, you play your cards right with me and the school newspaper will publish all sorts of stories about you. Your popularity will even make Abby jealous. I'm your ticket to the stars, baby. Thanks, but no thanks. You know, that doesn't sound like a far-fetched idea. <laughs> or perhaps the salsa contains special properties that can even cause for alligators to breathe fire. It could be, so it could become the latest trend. Super spicy salsa starts scorching sensation. I like how you're thinking, ETV. What do you have to say for your salsa burrito? You're just as bad as ATV, Degrat. <laughs> Thanks. My, such a slew of compliments from you today, Katie. You deserve every one of those compliments, ATV. And seriously, Degrat, stop pestering poor burrito. Yes, and I think Dux is looking for me anyway. Gotta split. <sighs> Did he even try to stay out of trouble? Anyway, hey TV, I got you a smoothie. All fruit, no nuts. Fruit smoothie, huh? I guess you pass. Ah, <sighs> you're welcome. Now that I've got my smoothie, I better store this sample of salsa before it gets stale. So if you'll excuse me, the ATV cave calls. Wait, you still owe me? Oh, never mind. I'll get it later. ATV cave. He's probably just running off, I mean, riding off to his dorm. Unless he really does have a secret cave somewhere in the school. I don't really want to know. Let's talk about something else, shall we? How's your day so far? It's going well, I suppose. Besides, not getting to hear what Abby was trying to tell me about her weekend plans. Have you spoken to Abby since this morning? Nope, I figure she's probably she'd be hibernating during lunch. You're probably right, but that's fine. She'll tell you when she's ready. But the weekend's starting tomorrow. Don't worry, I'm sure you'll hear about it before the day's over. Uh, you know what it is, right? Can't you just tell me? Sorry, but I promised I wouldn't tell. It's Abby's secret, not mine. Plus, she loves this kind of stuff. She'd be devastated if anyone else told you. Oh, okay then. I guess I'll just have to look forward to this surprise. It is a good surprise, right? Burrito, I'm hurt. Of course it is. She sure doesn't look all that hurt. <laughs> uh, sorry, Katie. Guess I shouldn't jump to conclusions. But I am really happy if all of you have been so welcoming. That's, well, that's really great. Thanks. Oh, it's nothing. I mean, you're so nice and all. It's easy to get along with you. Not like, well, some others I could mention. I'm glad you came to sit over here. Me too. Well, it's going to be a lot of fun having you around. 
Likewise. But it's about time to head to class, isn't it? I should probably get going. Yeah, me too. Lunch just seems to get shorter and shorter these days. Say, burrito? Yeah? Go ahead and leave the extra salsa. I'll give it a try after all. Well, then, it's all yours. Talk to you later, Katie. Usually surprises aren't my thing, but it's nice to be getting along with other moms here. Their excitement is starting to rub off on me. And I think that's all for this episode. Thank you everybody for watching. We'll find out, hopefully, in the next episode what the surprise is. But I'm, I don't know, I'm not that confident about us actually finding out. But hopefully we will. Anyway, thank you everybody for watching. I hope to see you in the next video, and bye!